Hi, hello, welcome to home school. This is your class 7 mathematics in CRT or CBSC board. Chapter 4 simple equations and this is your last exercise, exercise 4.4. First main, set up the equation and try to solve the equations, find the unknown number. So before exercises we have done how to solve an equation and if any statement given how to understand that and frame an equation. Framing an equation and simplifying the equation, both we are going to do in this main. See the first problem in it, add 4 to 8 times a number, you get 60. Add 4, adding plus 4. Add 4 to 8 times, times in the sense it is a product. 8 times 8 into a number. What is that number? What is that number? 8 times a number. We don't know the number. So our first step we are going to start with let, let us assume or let the number be let the number be any variable you can choose. Let the number be x. Now again read the statement. Add 4 plus 4. 8 times a number. 8x. You get 60 is equal to 60. Framing an equation is completed. Now we need to solve this equation. Plus 4. Transpose other side. Minus 4. 8x is equal to 60 minus 4. 8x is equal to 56. 8 is a multiple. If you transpose other side, you are going to divide. x is equal to 56 by 8. 8 7 sa 56 implies therefore x is equal to 7. Therefore the number x is equal to 7. It's very easy you now. Understand the statement. Frame the equations. Then solve it. You can pause your video and you can solve the remaining problem. Then after you complete the problems, you can check it out. Ready? Second sub question in it. One fifth of a number. We don't know number, right? First step in our solution. Let, let the number be. You can assume any variable I have said. Let me assume here y. Now, one fifth of a number. One fifth means what? One by five into the number. One fifth y minus four gives three. Gives three means result. That means equal to three. One by five into y. I can write it as y by five minus four transpose that side. Three plus 4. 3 plus 4. y by 5 is equal to 7. Transpose other side, it will be multiplied. Implies y is equal to 7 into 5. y is equal to 35 is your answer. Therefore, y is equal to 35. Therefore, the number be 35. Next sub question C. If I take 3 fourth of a number. First we need to write let the number be. Let, let the number be. Which letter you want to assume? I will take here M. Let the number be M. If I take 3 fourth of a number. 3 fourth of a number, 3 by 4 m and add 3, add 3 means plus 3 to it, I get 21 is equal to 21. 3 fourth of a number, add 3 to it, I get 21. Now plus 3 is another sign. 
and we write this as 3m by 4 is equal to 21 minus 3. 3m by 4 is equal to 21 minus 3 will be 18. First, this 4 you send other side, it will be multiplied. Implies, implies 3m is equal to 18 into 4. Okay. Now this one, if you want, you can multiply or as it is, you can keep and send this 3 here. 18 into 4 by 3. 3, 6 are 18. Therefore, M is equal to 6, 4 is 24. Therefore, the number M is equal to 24. Next sub question D. When I subtracted 11, how much you have subtracted here? 11. Let let, let the number be, the number be n. When I subtracted 11 from, 11 is subtracted from what? From twice a number, twice, two times a number. I have taken number n, two times a number to n. 11 is subtracted from 2 times a number. The result was 15. Is equal to 15. 2n minus 11 equal to 15. Minus 11 send other side plus 11. 2n is equal to 15 plus 11. 2n is equal to 15 plus 11. 26. This 2, other than the variable, what do you have? You have to remove all those numbers. 2 is a multiple. If it comes to this side, it will be divided. 2 ones and here 2 thirteens. Therefore, n is equal to 13. Therefore, the number is 13. Like the number n we have assumed. Therefore, the number is 13. E sub question. Munna subtracts thrice the number. Munna subtracts thrice the number. We start a solution by assuming. Let the number be. Let the number be A. Let the number be A. Munna subtracts Thrice, thrice means three times. Subtracts minus thrice the number of notebooks he has from 50. Subtracting three times number of notebooks he has from 50. 50, Munna subtracted three times A. 50 minus 3A. He find the result to be 8. Result means equal to. Your equation is ready. This is the equation. Simplify the equation. Minus 3a you have. Variable is here. Minus 3a there. Variable always it should be positive. So what you do? Bring this 8 this side and 3a other side. Transpose this one. Minus 3a if it goes to this side. Plus 3a plus 8 comes this side minus 8. 50 minus 8 it will be 42 is equal to 3a. Other than variable 3 is a multiple. Send other side it will be divided is equal to a. Cancel 3 1s are 3 4s are 12. Therefore, A is equal to 14. Therefore, what is the number they asked? A is equal to 14. See the next one? F. Ibn Hal, think of a number. If she adds 19, number set. Let the number be, let the 
number b we take b only let the number be b if she adds 19 adds 19 means plus 19 to 8 and divides the sum by 5 ibn hal think of a number if she adds 19 to 8 and divides the sum by 5 oh look here carefully she think of a number for that number she added 19 and the result or the sum what you are going to get for that divide by 5 she will get 8 little twist you have this one once again the number is added to 19 and the sum divided by 5 result is 8 now this 5 divisor right send this divisor that side it will be multiply x plus 19 is equal to 8 fives are 40 and plus 19 transpose on this side minus 19 okay it will be 21 therefore x value the number is equal to Twenty-one. Ibn Hal think of a number twenty-one. For that, added nineteen, and the sum is divided by five. She is going to get eight. Okay. Let's see the last sub question in this main. Anwar thinks of a number. We start our solution with let. Let the number be. Let us assume C. Let the number be C. Thinks of a number. Anwar thinks of a number. If he takes away seven, takes away means subtracts seven from five by two of the number. From which the seven is taken away? From five by two of the number. The result is twenty-three. Is equal to twenty-three. Now this minus seven send other side. Five c by two is equal to twenty-three plus seven. Five c by two is equal to twenty-three plus seven. Thirty implies this two send other side multiple. Five c is equal to thirteen to two. It will be sixty. C is equal to five multiple. Send other side. It will be divided. Five twelve sa sixty. Therefore, c is equal to twelve. Therefore, the number what Anwar thinks he thinks about the number twelve. Second main solve the following. First sub question here a. The teacher tells the class that the highest marks obtained by a student in her class is twice the lowest marks plus seven. Oh, what is she saying? She is talking about the highest mark and lowest mark. Observe here carefully. The teacher is talking about the highest mark and lowest mark in her class. What she was saying? By a student in her class is twice the lowest mark plus seven. The highest score is eighty seven. Okay, given given highest score is equal to eighty seven, and they asked us to find what is the lowest score. Observe here carefully. Twice the lowest mark. Twice the lowest mark means first we should know about the lowest mark. We don't know, right? Let us assume it with any variable. Let let the lowest mark be x. Let us assume lowest mark as x. Now once again read here. Twice the lowest mark. Twice. Two times, 
twice the lowest mark to x plus 7 2x plus 7 that's all no no once again come from the starting the highest mark obtained by a student in her class is means she is comparing with the highest mark what is the highest mark 87 the highest mark in her class is twice the lowest mark plus 7 that's all equation is completed now send the 7 other side 87 plus 7 if it comes other side minus 7 2x is equal to 87 minus 7 80 now extra other than variable what you have to 2 is a multiple send other side divide x is equal to 80 by 2 240 is a 80 therefore x is equal to 40 finished no therefore the lowest mark the lowest mark obtained in her class is equal to x equal to 40 we have assumed lowest mark as x right so that x value is 40 therefore lowest mark is equal to 40 marks let's see the next sub question b in an isosceles triangle what do you mean by isosceles triangle two sides are equal the base angles are equal okay let us draw a triangle here this is an isosceles triangle two sides are equal and base angles how they will be equal if these two sides are equal this side opposite angle is this and this side opposite angle is this okay equal sides opposite angles will be equal let us mark it as a b c these two angles are equal the vertex angle is 40 degree this is called as the vertex angle and this is 40 degrees what are the base angles of the triangle so understand the question carefully beside this problem in a bracket they have given isosceles triangle or the sum of interior angles of a triangle is 180 we know that right so this angle plus this plus this will be 180 these two angles are equal right let me assume this angle as x if this is x this will be x solution given a b c is an isosceles triangle a b c is an isosceles triangle and what did they give a b equal to a c and angle B equal to angle C is equal to X. This angle and this angle equal to X degree. Okay. We know. What do we know here? Sum of. Sum of interior. Sum of interior angles in a triangle is 180 degree. Is. 180 degree that is angle A plus angle B plus angle C is equal to 180 degree. Now you know angle A what is vertex angle 40 degree substitute here 40 degree B angle B is X angle C X is equal to 180 degree. Send this 40 degree other side, transpose plus 40 other side, minus 40. X plus X, 2X is equal to 180 degree minus 40 degree. 180 minus 40 will be 140 degree. 2 is multiple. Divide 140 degree by 2 is equal to 70 degree. Therefore, x is equal to 70 degree and what did they ask? What are the base angles of the triangle? Therefore, therefore, the base, 
the base angles of the triangle the base angles of the triangle angle b equal to angle c is equal to 70 degree both angles equal no so angle b 70 angle c 70 degrees see the last sub question in this main sachin scored twice as many runs as rahul who are the two persons here sachin and rahul Together their runs fell too short of a double century. How many runs did each one score? So once again let me repeat the problem. It will be little confused. Sachin scored twice as many runs as Rahul. So first we should know what are Rahul runs. Let me assume let the score of Rahul be X runs. X runs, we don't know how many runs, but let us assume Rahul. If we assume Rahul X, now you can see Sachin score. Sachin scored twice as many runs as Rahul. If you know Rahul, you can say Sachin runs. Rahul X runs, twice of Rahul means 2X runs. 2X runs. Together, together means X plus 2x. Sachin and Rahul together their runs fell too short of a double century. Too short means two runs are less for a double century. It means what is a century? 100. Double century? 200. In 200, two less means how much? 198. Rahul's and Sachin score Combinedly x plus 2x is equal to how much? 2 less for a double century. 198. Yes, equation we got. Now you can find the individual score. x plus 2x. 3x is equal to 198. This 3 is multiple. Send other side. Divide. 198 by 3. 3, 6 are 18, 1 is left, 18, 3, 6 are 18. X is equal to 66. 66 means what? The score of Rahul. Rahul, Rahul score is equal to 66 runs. Then what about Sachin score? Sachin's score is twice the Rahul, right? Twice means 66 into 2. That will be 132 runs. Let us add these to 132 plus 66. Add here, it will be 198 runs. That's all. This is only the problem they asked. Seeing problem, we feel difficult, but try to understand carefully. Okay? So, here two persons... Of whom we are talking, that person first we need to assume it as X. Okay. Sachin twice as many runs as Rahul. Let Rahul runs be X, Sachin runs be 2X. Both of them combinedly 2 less for a double century. 200 minus 2 it will be 198. So add these two equal to 198. Simplify you are going to get X value 66. Rahul score is equal to 66 runs. Sachin score is equal to 2 times 66 that is 132 runs. With this we are going to end our session today. In our next class we are going to complete this chapter. Until that keep on watching and keep practicing these all problems. Thank you children.